If we told you that one day batteries might be able to endure forever, would you trust us? Nuclear diamond batteries bring up a whole new world with limitless possibilities, and by an eternity, we mean 28,000 years. Elon Musk, the wealthiest man in the world, plans to use this technology in his EV manufacturing business. Welcome back to another exciting video from Tech Vision. Today's video is about Elon Musk's insane nuclear diamond battery. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Tesla created a 28,000-year-long energy source out of nuclear waste. It sounds like a sci-fi movie. It is, in fact, genuine. These nuclear diamond batteries have been under development for several years by a tech startup in California called Nanodiamond Battery GDB. Now, they may have completed the task. In addition to releasing a consumer version that can power smartphones for more than a decade, not quite 28,000 years, the company claims it will begin selling the battery to its commercial partners within the next two years. Still, you can't gripe about not having to charge your phone for the next 10 years. The diamond battery will also boost space rocket technology significantly because it can power spacecraft as they travel millions of miles through the cosmos. In the future, these batteries might be used to power satellites, giving them the extra power they need to deorbit till the end of their lives or power long-lasting space expeditions. Elon will notably benefit much from it. A nuclear battery, known as a radioactive thermoelectric generator, or RTG battery, powers NASA spacecraft and SpaceX, which aims to carry people and cargo to Mars by 2029. IMDs, or implantable medical devices, must function for a long time without requiring a recharge. Additionally, it should be as small and light as possible. Beta voltaic cells, which are nuclear batteries, were frequently used in IMD throughout the 1970s, and the potential risk of radiation led to the switch to lithium-ion batteries. The use of beta voltaic cells was reviewed in the 1980s. The diamond batteries are the ideal successor for the lithium-ion batteries, being developed by Tesla and employed in, especially in light of recent developments in nuclear batteries. Other EV brands An electric vehicle's range is just about 500 miles with lithium-ion batteries. Your car, however, will be able to travel for several days without a charge, thanks to nuclear diamond batteries. However, because the storm is still developing, the Nano Diamond Battery Company must disclose the battery's price the complicated technology that goes into making these batteries. The method uses layers of micro-diamonds stacked into a storm and radioactive isotopes extracted from nuclear waste. The diamond batteries are useful for medical devices that stay within your body for a long time, including pacemakers and hearing aids, because they can create energy for a long time. Machines that consistently need a small amount of electricity generated over extended periods are powered by batteries. Radioactive waste panels and diamond layers are added to the system to function. The battery's ability to transform nuclear energy, viewed as a destructive element, into something positive is something that physicists admire. Given that nuclear energy can be utilized to cause devastation, such as when it is used to create nuclear weapon, this should be understood. As we previously stated, it is secure because it is made of a sturdy material that prevents access to power cells by outsiders. It also features a polycrystal coating that is highly dense and effective at containing radiation. In actuality, it has 12 times the density of steel. As a result, these batteries are regarded as being extremely secure. Every atom that we are aware of emits some radioactivity. Early test findings indicate that these new batteries emit even less radioactivity than our bodies, which is even less than our bodies do. Diamonds, incredibly effective electrical conductors and make a superb target for electronic equipment, are used in the NDB system. In actuality, they conduct heat four times faster than steel does. These tiny diamonds are produced by scientists using chemical vapor deposition, a procedure where carbon is forced to crystallize on a substrate material by gases heated to extremely high temperatures. NDB acknowledges that this method has a cost bottleneck and is hence expensive. Right now, if enough of these diamond battery cells are coupled, they can power some of the most energy-intensive devices currently used on Earth, such as tablets and smartphones with LED displays. On the other hand, NDB plans to introduce its first commercial product, a line of smartwatches, in 2022. If this is the case, a single watch with a single battery might be owned and passed down through the generations without ever needing to be replaced. Think of it as an heirloom. The Storm, which is constructed of two different kinds of nanodiamond, produces its charge rather than storing energy from other sources, nearly causing it to crash. Suppose it applied to vehicles or other moving objects. The diamond battery is a beta voltaic device similar to photovoltaic solar cells in that it turns beta radiation into electricity rather than light. It is created using chemical vapor deposition, which grows diamond fumes at high temperatures using C14, methane, and hydrogen plasma. Reactor parts that have turned radioactive are the nuclear waste that NDB hopes to use to produce its batteries. Although it's not high-grade nuclear waste, contamination from nuclear plant fuel rods is hazardous, and an atomic generator contains much of it. 
company believes that if they are mass-produced, their batteries will be even more affordable than current batteries like lithium-ion. Currently, nuclear power plants have a significant. Nuclear waste is a byproduct of nuclear energy production. It is difficult to get rid of this garbage. Therefore, the only option up until now has been to bury it buried in steel and concrete. These nuclear power facilities are anticipated to pay nuclear diamond battery businesses to use nuclear waste in their batteries. He put a lot of effort into his studies on behalf of the nuclear power industry. He serves as the technical director of Amitech Limited. This spin-off company focuses on locating and mapping radioactive materials in the environmental, urban, and industrial sectors when exposed to extreme pressure deep inside the Earth's crust. The development of natural diamonds, made entirely of carbon, takes hundreds of thousands to millions of years. No radioactive carbon is present. These synthetic diamonds are produced using a high-pressure machine and an excellent natural carbon source like graphite, but they don't have radioactive stuff in them. For usage in diamond batteries, radioactive artificial diamonds are created using radioactive C14 isotopes, which are known to be the radioactive waste with the highest volume. A diamond battery functions similarly to radioisotopes, the electro-generators found in space mission, and are reverse. A semiconductor diode and C14 as a radial isotope are used in the diamond battery's direct energy conversion process to produce an electrical charge. These diamond cells don't produce as much power as other possibilities do. They may, however, play a significant role in the production of future electronics due to their extended longevity. It is conceivable to transform the long-term, central issue of managing nuclear waste into a battery fueled by atomic energy for an extended period. By encasing radioactive elements inside a diamond, clean energy can be produced. An artificial diamond can be made for much less money than it would cost to clean up nuclear waste and abandoned atomic fields. It is predicted that despite efforts, the United States will only have enough radioactive fuel by 2023 to power 2.5 nuclear battery modules annually.